Being imprisoned and being told what to do by guards and everyone assuming that you're a bad person, they were very standoffish. My, my first class was interesting. I was very nervous to go in there. I was told going in that a lot of the first group that I taught because of the unit they came from that they were convicted murderers. It's so much more of a gift to me than it ever is to the women. Not only me, but the rest of the ladies here. Um, there's a difference in attitude. People aren't stressed out. They're not depressed. They're not angry. And we're all getting healthier. They are thrilled to have music in their lives. They are thrilled to have movement in their lives. They're otherwise not allowed to dance. They have to stay on their exact sidewalks when they're walking from building to building. They cannot even step off into the grass unless they have permission. Um, I really appreciate Allison and Jenny coming out and working with us because weight is something we struggle with here a lot. To see the, the physical transformation, they live very sedentary lives and then the food is not the best. Um, it gives me a lot more energy. Um, I feel ha I get excited when I know it's time for Zumba. It's something I look forward to. I've lost 20 pounds, maybe a little bit more, and I've um, come down three pant sizes. Uh, everyone that knows me knows that I live for Zumba. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing because they all call me the Zumba girl. <laughs> to be around them and watch not just their physical transformation, but their spiritual and emotional transformation when they're moving and making healthy choices is, is the best gift I could be given for doing it. I became a single mom at age 18. I got into fitness just because the YMCA hired me when I was a single mom and had, a, had my son who they let me put him in the nursery for free so I didn't have to pay for childcare. So I worked at the desk and then they introduced me to the wellness center and then they taught me to be a wellness trainer and lead people on how to create a workout routine and I started my own workout routine so that I knew what I was talking about. And so I started teaching step aerobics and then pregnancies got in the way and I put it off and then I needed to recover and started taking Zumba, which I loved. This YMCA is my heart. Part of my role on the board here is fundraising for the program that supplies memberships to people who can't afford it. So no team would be turned away because they can't afford it. If this makes it on there, I would like to encourage other people to volunteer. It's, it's an option.